Hey guys, it's Tyson here, and we're back with another Terraformer Craft tutorial. Today we're going to talk about two topics. Uh, the first is wool, and the second is tanning and leather. So to get wool, um, you need to get some sheepskin, which obviously you get by killing or shearing sh or uh, killing sheep. You can also get uh, wool from shearing sheep. But um, put a knife with your sheepskin, and you're going to get wool. And as a byproduct, sometimes it can take a second to show up. There we go you get uh, raw hides. So the wool in this form is unusable. You do need a spindle to use it. And to make a spindle, put a ball of clay on the end of a stick and you'll get a clay spindle. This needs to be fired in a pit kiln, just you know, like all other ceramics. If you're having issues with pit kilns, check my earlier videos. I go over ceramics and pit kilns and how to use them. But for sake of demonstration, I went ahead and showed you the steps. Once you fire it, you're gonna get a spindle head that spindle head stuck on a stick will get you a spindle. Spindle's super easy to use. You just craft it with the wool. You're going to get wool yarn. Wool yarn can be used for most things. It can be used for uh, bows you know, in the same way string would be used for. Uh, but you can also craft it in four to get wool cloth. Wool cloth has several uses. Um, two wool cloth together will make a carpet. Oh, yeah. Carpet. Um, and if you take any kind of planks, you can put those down and make yourself a bed. Surrounded in sticks will make you your paintings, just like in vanilla. So that's the basics of wool there. Now, um, rawhide as a byproduct is really nice. And I'm going to teach you guys how to treat, uh, rawhide first. To treat rawhide, you're going to need three buckets. And the first bucket, you use the process of lime water. Basically, take your wooden bucket, and of course I didn't get any flux ready. Making sure, okay, I didn't get any flux ready, but you take a flux, stand, uh, flux, you craft it with the wooden bucket of water, and you'll get lime water. If you need, issue, if you need help with flux, uh, check my vi video on flux and anvils, and that'll teach you how to uh, make flux. So the lime water goes in the first bucket, and you're going to see that it's going to fill up on the side here. And you don't have to fill it up all the way. The more you fill it up, the longer it's going to last. We're just going to use all our buckets here. And see, as, as, you see, as you can see, it's not fully filled up. And then you can put your rawhide straight in here. We're going to go ahead and do all of it that we have. It's not all going to go through. We don't have enough lime water in here, but you can't shift click it in. Uh, if you do, it'll only put one in, so just drop it all in and then hit the seal button. When it's sealed, you can't open the interface at all, so just leave it alone, let it do its thing. The second bucket should be completely filled with water, and we have that one set up there. And the third and last bucket, you need to fill with water and then put one log of any type into it, and then seal that. That is going to make tannin, which is the last step in the process. Now this can be a lengthy process, but the nice thing is you can just set it, forget it, just check it every time you're back at your base to see if it opens. Once it opens, it's ready for the next step of the process. So what I'm going to do is pause, and I'll be back once we're ready for the next step. And we're back. Our first barrel has finished, so we can basically take the hides out of here. I believe I put too many in, because that gave me the wrong thing. Well, whatever. What it's supposed to give you... Uh, I don't I don't think I've ever done more than 16 at once, so I think that may have been my issue there. But it, what's supposed to give you a soaked tide. You take that soak, soaked tide, craft it with a knife, and it's going to give you scraped tide. The scraped tide uh, goes in the next barrel. Here we go, the water barrel here. And as you can see, I already ran through this, and I got prepared hide. So you'd seal this in with the water, and you'd be going through the exact same process waiting. Uh, the water that we put the login is going to produce tannin and this tannin you put the prepared hide in seal it and when that's done it's going to give you leather i decided to go ahead and get all the products ready so we didn't have to sit here and wait through it now leather can be used for a variety of different things uh first we're going to start with these if you take planks put them on the top and bottom put leather in the middle it will make a bellows and the bellows can be used on a forge. Let me just pop over here real quick to... I always forget how to place it. It's the other way around. There we go. And this, when you right click it, can make the forge hotter, allowing you to more easily work with metals, get them to the right temperature quicker, etc. 
You can also make item frames by surrounding it with uh, sticks. These can be used to make books. But what you're probably going to want to use it for first is armor. So we're going to go through the armor recipes real quick. Basically put the knife and the leather and it'll open up a very familiar interface. So first off, we're going to make a helmet. This one's, they're all pretty simple. I find the boot one hard to remember, but there you go. Actually, I think I left that on screen way too short. So I'll just go through that one one more time. To make the helmet, just cut out a place for a little head to go. So there we go. That's how you make the helmet. Now going through the rest uh, to make a chest plate. You just got to cut out a spot for your neck. Super easy. Okay. And then pants. Just cut up the crotch until pants appear. And then this is the one I always have trouble remembering. Uh, it makes sense once you see it, but it, it's an odd one. Is boots. So we're just going to cut out the boot shape here. And there we go. And that's how you make boots. So that's how you make your armor. And then we can toss that on. And we are no longer naked. So, yeah. That's pretty fantastic. Um, Let's see. Beyond that... Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and show how to make the books real quick because they're not um, craftless or shapeless. So let me just grab some paper real quick. I apologize for not having this ready beforehand. Uh, swimming. Uh, this is the last recipe with leather. So, you know, for sake of completion, I feel like it's only right that we show it. I also spruced up my man cave a little bit. You take the paper, put it down the middle, and the leather goes there. This isn't... Oh! Okay, so it's has two different recipes. It's either side. And that will make a book. So there we go. But yeah, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Send these tutorials to anyone you think could use some help. And in the description below, let me know what tutorials you'd like to see next. As always, have a great day.